around 50 private colleges in London have been barred from taking in overseas students. It follows a government clampdown on visa fraud, which has seen thousands of students deported or refuse entry to Britain. But critics say the move threatens London's reputation as a global city for study and risks losing billions of pounds in our economy. Our education reporter Mark Ashdown has been investigating. One day, Shahood was studying business at college. The next day, it was shut down amid claims some students had cheated their way in. He'd spent thousands to come here from Pakistan and has been left high and dry. It's, it's a huge damage, you know, and uh, if you ask me, I have not recommended even a single person from my country, whoever who has told me, or whoever asked me, okay, where should I go for study? I said, go to Australia, go to Canada, go to America, but please don't come here. Just because of a few people, why should everybody suffer? His is by no means an isolated story. Government figures show in the last year up to 19,000 students have either been refused entry or deported. 900 of them via detention centres. It's really sad because like, you are treating international students like almost like criminals, you know, and not almost, it is like you're putting